Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. I have received many queries regarding this SP34 code explanation. So today I am going to explain you the handbook on concrete reinforcement and detailing which is called as SP34. So this is the very important code for reinforcement detailing of RCC structures. So without delay, let's begin now. First let's look into the contents. In SP34 we have 14 sections and then we have appendix. Section 1 is for steel reinforcement, 2 detailing function, 3 is for structural drawing for detailing, 4 is for general detailing requirements, 5 is for bar bending schedule, 6 is for foundations, 7 is for columns, 8 beams, 9 floor slabs, 10 stars, 11 special structures like deep beams, walls, shells and folded plates, water tanks, RC hinges and concrete pipes. 12 is for ductility requirement of earthquake resistant buildings. 13 is for transport storage, fabrication assembly and placing of steel reinforcement. 14 is for typical structural drawings. Let's start with section 1 steel for reinforcement. We know we use reinforced steel bar along with the concrete. So we have mild steel bar, high strength deformed bar, hard drawn steel wire fabrics. So these all reinforced bar has to be in some specific standard as per the code. So that standard details are given in this section. See under high strength deformed steel bar we have grades FE415, FE500 and FE550 and table has the requirements for reinforcing bars. So it specifies the type of reinforcement, nominal bar size, characteristic strength, minimum ultimate tensile stress, composition of steel conforming to IS, minimum elongation of gauge length, everything is given in this table. So this section 1 is specifically for steel specifications, tolerance, everything is given in this section 1. Next let's move on to section 2. In section 2, detailing functions are given. First one is general. In preparing drawing and bar bending schedules the following factors shall be kept in view so while preparing drawing and uh, bending schedule steel bar bending schedules we need to follow these factors the engineers design and the design requirement cutting and bending of the reinforcement placing and wiring in position of reinforcement maintaining the position of reinforcement pre-assembly of cages concreting accommodation of other trades and services the measurement of quantities and economy in the use of steel so these are all general considerations next one is design requirement so what are all the design requirement a designer has to be follow and then cutting and bending next we have placing and wiring in position and maintaining position of reinforcement pre-assembly of cages and mats concreting other trades and services measurement of quantities it's all in the term of like general things like what we need to follow during detailing this is very important factor economy in use of steel the type of steel you used is generally specified by the designer but bear in mind that up to one third of the mass of steel can be saved by using high strength steel instead of mild steel. The saving can be considerable as the difference of cost between the rates of mild steel and high strength steel placed in position is relatively small. Furthermore, as the rates for smaller diameters are higher than those of larger diameter, it is desirable to use the largest available size of bar within the design requirement. Larger bar also produce stiffer cages and are not easily displaced. So here according to the economy in use of steel we need to consider these factors like uh, diameter of the bar according to the cost. Next section 3 structural drawing for detailing. So how the structural drawing has to be prepared for detailing that details are all given in this section. So let's discuss this section in the next series of this video. So friends I hope you all like this video. Please do comment in the comment box. Your comments are always welcome and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos thank you for watching